are blessed that so many of you have been watching the broadcast every Sunday. We love you with the love of the Lord. Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Get ready. I believe today's sermon will uplift you, encourage you, and bring transformation to your life. And now, it is my pleasure to welcome Bishop Bruno to the pulpit. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, today, we continue our sermon series, God of the Impossible. God of the Impossible. Mark chapter 10, verse 27, uh, Jesus looked at them intently and said, humanly speaking, it is impossible, but not with God. Everything is possible with God. And that is the God we serve, God of the impossible. And John chapter 1 verse 10 uh, says, Christ was in the world, and the God made the world through him, yet the world did not recognize him. Verse 11, he came to his own people, even they rejected him. And verse 12 says, but to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. We are created to become like Jesus Christ. I love it. The scripture says God gives us power to become overcomers. He gives us power to become what he created us uh, to become, to become mighty men and women of God. I love the fact that we've been given power to become whatever we were destined uh, to be. Glory to God. John chapter 10 verse 9, I am the door. Anyone who enters through me will be saved and will live forever. God's will is for you and me to live forever. And, and he will go in, anyone who enters through me, through the door, will go in and out freely and find pasture. When you come through the door, Jesus Christ is the door. And when you walk through the door, on the other side of, of the door, you find spiritual security. You find supernatural provision. On the other side of the door, you find healing, deliverance, and everything that you need. Hallelujah. Jesus is the door. Verse 10, uh, the thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. That is the devil's goal. That's why Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But now listen to why Jesus came. I came uh, that they may have life uh, and have it in abundance uh, to the full. So Jesus Christ came uh, so that you might have the God kind of life. He came so that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. We are talking about the life that overflows. A life that overflows with joy and peace and love. You see, God has never destined anybody to live a miserable life. It is not God's will for you to live a hellish life. No, God wants you to live a heavenly life. God wants you to live a powerful life, a glorious life. God wants you to go from glory to glory by the Spirit of the Lord. That is God's will. Uh, Jesus is the Christ. Uh, he is the anointed one, and he has power to change anything. Uh, Jesus Christ is omnipotent. He is all-powerful. He has the power to change anything in the universe. Uh, he can change the worst sinner into a child of God. Listen to what Jesus Christ can do. He can change the worst sinner the most vile, reprobate, ungodly person into a saint, into a child of God. Uh, he will change uh, your ordinary life uh, into everlasting life. Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him 
shall not perish. It is not God's will for you to perish, for anybody to perish. God wants you to succeed. He wants you to live forever. And he wants you to have eternal, everlasting life. Uh, Galatians chapter 1, verse 23. Uh, they only heard the report of uh, the men who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith uh, he once tried uh, to destroy. Talking about Saul, the Apostle Paul. Uh, uh, Saul was an enemy of the church. Uh, 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 he was on his way to destroy uh, the church. Uh, by the way, the church is indestructible. The devil cannot destroy the church. Upon this rock, uh, says Jesus, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. The church of Jesus Christ is the most powerful thing on the earth. Hallelujah. Because God is on our side. Because God is in our midst. Uh, and Jesus Christ uh, is the head of the church. So Saul was going to create havoc in the church. But in midway on the road to Damascus, God came and stopped Saul. Jesus Christ came in all of his glory and said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Well, Saul thought he was persecuting the church, but Jesus is identified with the church. He's connected to you. Hallelujah. He's connected to the church. He can feel your pain. He can feel your infirmities. Hallelujah. So Saul was instantly changed. He said, who are you, Lord? He lifted up his eyes and saw Jesus in the heavens. <laughs> Look up, your redemption draws near. He says, who are you, Lord? And immediately Saul was transformed by the mighty power of Jesus Christ. I am here to tell you, I sense the transforming power of Jesus Christ working in your life right now, setting you free, healing you, delivering you. The transforming power of Christ can make you whole. And Saul was changed because Jesus Christ can turn any situation around. Jesus Christ can make a big, humongous difference in your life. If any man is in Christ, he is a brand new species which never existed before. That's what the Bible says. Uh, the Bible says that God can take your life and make you a brand new creature. So after that encounter with Jesus, uh, Saul's life was transformed. Uh, he went now uh, from town to town preaching, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to tell you that there is power in the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. Uh, hallelujah. So Jesus is the Christ, uh, the anointed one. He has power to change anything. He can change the worst sinner into a child of God. He will change your ordinary life into everlasting life. Uh, Jesus came by and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. Uh, uh, Jesus said, uh, Zacchaeus, come down. Uh, because today I must abide. I must come to your house. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. Uh, I want to tell you it's a happy day when Jesus comes to your house. Uh, 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 the Bible says, uh, Jesus, I am standing at the door and I am knocking. If anyone hears my voice and open the door, I will come in. I will eat with him and he will eat with me. I always wonder uh, this powerful scripture. I will eat with him and he will eat with me. Who's going to provide the food. Who's going to pay for the food? When Jesus comes into your house, he will take care. He will take care of your uh, every need. Uh, Jesus Christ is our provider. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. I shall not want. So Jesus Christ came to Zacchaeus' house. 
And the Bible says Zacchaeus was transformed by the power of God. He repented and said, if I cheated anybody, I'm going to give them half of my goods. Uh, Zacchaeus was changed and transformed. And Jesus said to Zacchaeus, today salvation has come to your house. I am proclaiming today deliverance has come to your house. Today healing has come to your house. Today breakthrough has come to your house. Today miracles have come to your house. Uh, this is a great day. Today everything is turning around for your good. Hallelujah. So you see God can make the impossible uh, possible. Uh, 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 the answer is God can turn your situation around. So Jesus changed Zacchaeus' life. Uh, he can change your life. Uh, Jesus can reverse. He can change impossible situations. Uh, 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 you will no longer be the same once uh, you encounter Jesus Christ. Your life will be changed. But God can change anything. He can move your mountains. He can remove your obstacles. He can remove your predicament. He can solve all your problems. No matter what the emergencies are in your life, Jesus can take care of all the emergencies in your life. He can do what is needed. He can do what is necessary. Uh, when you put your faith in him, he can turn it around. Jesus can change any situation and turn it into a testimony. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. Uh, Jesus says, I have placed before you an open door. This is the year of open doors. I pray God will open supernatural doors for you. Uh, doors of miracles in your life. And today I pray for your healing. I pray for deliverance. I pray for your breakthrough. Uh, you're going to have a breakthrough. I pray for your family. Your family is going to be well. Hallelujah. Your family is going to be saved and blessed by the power of Almighty God. Uh, I pray for supernatural protection. God is going to be your shield and your protector. God is the lifter of your head. I pray for miracles in your life and remember with God all things are possible. <laughs> Glory to God. So now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace. Shalom until I see you next Sunday. God bless.